Hi, and welcome to Game Time, and I'm your host, Jackie. And today, you're watching a new segment that we like to call Old Timey Moments in History. And that's where we look at important people and events from gaming history. Today, we're going to be talking about Deep Blue. Do you even know what Deep Blue is, even? Deep Blue was a chess-playing robot made by Bill Gates down at the IBM. He was born in 1989. Oh my gosh, he's younger than even me, but not by much. So the reason IBM made Deep Blue is because they really wanted to make a robot that could beat the world champion in chess. <laughs> they must have really hated that world champion's guts to spend so much time and energy and money into making a big, giant, expensive robot that does only that. Now, when you think of robots, you probably picture very cool AI Borgs like the Tin Man. Well, in this case, guess again. Deep Blue was just this big, boxy, black block that didn't even have any style and had no face, no eyes, no hands, no even shoes at all. And it's crazy because Bill and the boys down at IBM could have made him as hot and friggin' sexy as they wanted, but they just made him into a big black locker. But I guess they just didn't want him coasting by on his good looks and they wanted people to take him seriously down at the chess matches, so they just made him into a big gold cupboard. Deep Blue's mortal enemy was Gary Kasparov, who was a Russian chess grandmaster. And Grandmaster is when you're really so good at chess. But then, when Gary was only 22 years old, he beat the world champion of chess, Anatoly Karpov. So then he became the world champion of chess, that's how it works. You beat the world champion, then you are the world champion. And also, what the frig is going on in Russia that they have all these chess enthusiasts? Gary Kasparov was so cocky because he was the world champion of chess. And Deep Blue, of course, was so cocky as well because he was this poindexter smart chess playing robot. So, naturally, they were chomping at the bit to defeat each other in a big chess competition. And leading up to their two six-game matches in 1996 and 1997, the two of them were trash-talking each other to anyone that would listen, just like those famous MMA fighters do before they do their sweaty stink fights. So Gary was all like, hey, Deep Blue, talk to the hand. Oh, sorry, I should explain. These are called hands, duh. And then Deep Blue was all like, you know what, Gary? Cancel my subscription because I am so over your issues. And then, you won't believe it, Deep Blue actually won some of the games. <laughs> And the fact that a stocky old chess playing robot could beat the world champion in chess, let me tell you, it freaked everyone out. They got so mad at Deep Blue and afraid of robots and artificial intelligence and that they would take us all over and take over the world. And Gary was so sad and mad that he actually accused Deep Blue of cheating and said that there was a person inside Deep Blue's cupboard doing all the chess moves. <laughs> like, sore loser alert much? Anyway, there's not a lot of info out there about whatever became of Deep Blue, so who knows? He's probably somewhere working on his beach bod. Or maybe he was stripped down for parts and now he's part of all those new self-checkouts down at the Walmart. I don't know, wherever he is, he's probably gloating. Unless a bunch of Russian chess bullies tied him to a bunch of cement blocks and threw him in a river because they hated him so bad. Why don't you comment below and tell me what you think happened to Deep Blue? My name's Jackie, I've been your host, and tune in next time to Game Time.